Look, I am not a morning person at all, but I do love getting up at five in the morning on a Sunday and driving when there is nobody on the roads. It's amazing. It's one of the best things in life. And I have quite a drive ahead of me this morning. We're actually going out to uh, do a little bit of fall road cruising, a little hogtober action potentially, uh, pinetober maybe even. Uh, this is just the beginning of what's going to be a very long series of uh, days of herping, hopefully, here at the end of October uh, before things really start cooling off. So let's get to it. All right, we have a nice big Simus. Get a camera photo before we risk him playing dead or anything, but finally, first snake of the day. I also forgot to mention I'm here with Ben today, and uh, <laughs> we're actually filming raffle promo today for uh, this year's raffle. And uh, we've got our first snake, and it just happens to be one of the uh, the species that is a possible thing that you could find if you uh, happen to be the raffle winner of the 2024 raffle, because uh, we will be mostly focusing our efforts once again in longleaf pine sandhills, home to these guys, and indigos. I'll definitely be posting a lot more raffle promo uh, other than just this little mention. So stay tuned if you're interested in potentially getting out with us in early 2025. All right, well, this guy will uh, go back on the shoulder of the road in the direction he was heading and we'll continue on. Hopefully this will not be the only snake we see today because it was a little bit of a slow start. You gonna crawl away or just sit there and hiss? All right, we've got a, we've got a fresh track here. Looks Simus. Can you see where it went up or did it? He, he pushed here. He went up here. So you got him going there? Yeah. And I don't see the guy. Hmm. All right, we'll look around and see if we can find this guy. He can't be far. Well, we just, we cannot seem to find this, this snake. It's possible that it crossed the road quite a bit longer ago than we initially thought, though. So we'll probably be moving on here shortly, taking the L on this one. All right, everybody. Well, uh, unfortunately, it did end up being a one snake day, um, but at least that one snake was a nice adult Simus, and I do think that's probably the best look we've gotten at a Simus this year. All right, everybody. I did want to take a second here before we continue the episode to promote the 2024 raffle for conservation. I'm teaming up once again with the Orion Society to host a raffle in the interest of raising money for a great conservation organization that does a lot of work to protect the land and the species that we hold dear here on this channel, such as the southern hognose snake and the eastern indigo snake. So for any viewers who were not here for the past two years of raffles and are unfamiliar with the Orian Society, the Orian Society is a conservation organization that focuses kind of largely on the southeastern and northeastern U.S., but is a broad-ranging conservation organization with emphasis on habitat protection, restoration, and in particular the protection and uh, continued conservation of the eastern indigo snake and the longleaf pine ecosystem that it calls home. So basically all the money being raised in this raffle will go directly towards the things that we care the most about here on this channel, such as land preservation, management, and uh, research of these imperiled species like the eastern indigo snakes. And just like in years past, there will be a lot of other prizes like nice Orient Society merchandise like the sweaters that Ben and I are wearing in this video, books relevant to herpetology, and 2025 calendars featuring Ben Stegenga's photography. So make sure to check out the Orient Society on social media and keep an eye on my social media over the next few days for more information about the raffle. Thank you guys so much. Back to the video. Good morning, everybody from scenic and very sunny South Georgia. It has been a while since we've had rain and winter is impending for sure. It's still nice and green and warm down here, but we definitely are getting towards the, uh, the home stretch of the best part of the fall. So... I'm going to try to take advantage of that today. I'm out here with Ben uh, Stegenga once again, and we're going to be road cruising for most of the day and potentially doing some hiking and flipping if we, uh, if we resort to that. But hopefully snakes will be crossing the road, so let's get to it before it starts getting hot and see what we can turn up. All right, Ben, what's your first snake of the day guess? Juvenile racer. Juvenile racer. I'm going to go with juvenile cane break. Oh, okay. Ben just uh, took one for the team and f dove on a racer. We actually, uh, we stopped for this guy's track right here. And we did actually just lose our first snake of the day, which was a coach whip. But now we have an in-hand snake. Where are you going? 
All right, well, nice adult racer that uh, we were able to find off the side of the road. I say we, it was all Ben. I was flipping whatever that thing is when Ben found the racer. Um, but here's his track, if you want a little bit of reference. It's what we saw, and luckily he was just right there on the side of the road. So we just stopped for another set of snake tracks. There's some crazy, crazy stuff going on right here. Possibly two different snakes, but we had a snake here. You can see that one's not as defined a little bit of a push but anyways we went over there and started kicking around a little bit and got our second racer of the day just chilling over there in the vegetation so another nice pretty one this one's much smaller but snakes are moving at least racers and coach whips we did lose a coach whip earlier so we're seeing some diurnal activity which is always nice we will uh let this one go and hopefully things will continue to be at the very least snaky throughout the day even if we're not finding any of our big targets which is always fine with me all right, racer number two, you wanna zoom? Moderate zoom. Well, the snakes are just kind of going crazy all of a sudden. We just cruised that, a baby Eastern King, just chilling in the road in the shadows. Holy crap. Well, this is uh, a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. That is so cool. Fresh hatchling baby King snake. Uh, here in a county, I think I've seen maybe one here ever. And this is the first time I've cruised one here, so. That is very cool. Well, that little guy definitely makes the day. Beautiful hatchling. I think this is the first hatchling Eastern King Snake we have seen uh, this year. And I'm this might even be the first hatchling I've ever found in South Georgia. We see lots of king snakes down here, but not a lot of babies. Lots of big ones, under 10 usually in the spring. But to see this little guy sitting in the road, that definitely made my day. And we still have a lot of day ahead of us. So hopefully there's more to come, but nice little highlight pretty early here in the day. We don't see anything else. Adorable baby Eastern King Snake. We'll let this guy go. This road's got very little traffic on it, thankfully, so he probably won't have any risk of getting run over, but beautiful, beautiful little snake. Keep going, keep going away from the road. No, you just wanna fight now? All right, this guy is, uh, he's different to say the least. You hear that hawk? You have got to crawl away or you're gonna get eaten, dude. You can't just sit here and beef with me. I'm going to have to find a hole to put this thing down so he doesn't get eaten by a bird. He's just, he's just relentless. All right, we have a, uh, a turtle in the road, probably a slider. We're going to find out. Definitely a slider. <laughs> a muddy guy. Man, he is, he is kind of weird looking. Look at that. He's so dark. He's got a male with these long fingers this guy has definitely been in the pond and i'm guessing he's going to that pond on the other side of the road but nice uh, yellow bellied slider the day is chugging along fairly nicely decent numbers of snakes and a nice turtle now too first turtle of the day hopefully we'll see some more might have a chance of seeing a gopher tortoise on the road around here potentially hey we got a nice uh, fat garter snake look at that see a lot of these in this area at night, but that's a pretty snake. I might might get a photo of that guy. This is a very pretty kind of olive -y colored garter snake. And uh, we see a lot of them in the coastal plain night cruising, but, and we'll probably see some tonight if we do night cruise here, but actually getting one during the daytime when you can really appreciate their colors is definitely a nice, nice bonus for the day. Um, Ben's taking some on road shots and then we'll get a better look at this thing. Trying to move her into some more even light, but you can see that olive coloration. Very, very pretty snake. And uh, a look at what a garter snake track looks like on a dirt road. That's not not one I've ever seen before. Oh, here's a here's a nice look at the snake in the sun before we let it go. But very, very beautiful and cooperative garter snake. Another great addition to the day. Garter king, couple racers, slider. It's still fairly early. We got a lot of cruising ahead of us, so we'll let this beauty go. South Georgia things. Finally. Oh, you are so beautiful. <laughs> beautiful little cane break. Look at how fat that guy is. That's got to be this year's baby, right? And he's just well off. I mean, he's only got maybe one or two sheds under his belt. Well, I'm kind of surprised it took until this point in the day to find one of these because they are pretty thick around here, but 
very pretty little snake as always and uh, it is getting to be that time of day where we expect to see rattlesnakes when it's the right temperature and today it feels perfect so hopefully this will not be the only one but if it is it's been a while since we've seen a cane on the road so i'm definitely stoked about that ben's taking some photos and then we'll get him out of the road and continue on but it's been a very snaky day no complaints for me after the last couple weeks we've had it has been a little bit slow the good days have been really good but the slow days have been basically snakeless so today has been a, a little bit of a welcome breath from the the tough herping so we just followed this turtle track for like a quarter of a mile up the road and sure enough there is our uh our second slider of the day come here bud hello hello another big one the sliders are wandering today all right it's getting to be that time of day again and Sure enough, here we have our second garter snake of the day, this time a fresh little baby. I say fresh, he was probably born in July, so he's a couple months old at this point and definitely has a little bit of size on him, much bigger and girthier than he would have been when he was fresh out the cloaca. So, <laughs> is that... <laughs> All right, anyways, we'll get this guy out of the road and keep moving. <laughs> lucky the traffic situation out here tonight is brutal and we just had a freshly clipped timber but we got to this one we're able to slow traffic down and it seems to be okay it's ridiculous how much traffic we're dealing with on this road right now but second snake of the night is a live one thankfully the the first timber was very alive when we found it but it was clipped and it had guts everywhere so very not ideal situation. That would have been our third timber of the day if we'd gotten to that one in time, but beautiful big adult here. We'll just uh, escort him to safety. Uh, he was going the other direction initially though, so. We got a, a head covering guy. We do have a car coming once again, so. I thought I heard careful. <laughs> well, that guy was the sheriff, so uh, he stopped and made sure we were okay, and we are. But uh, this guy's in pancake mode. Normally when they're doing this, it means they're gonna bite to they're gonna strike the bite, so we're just gonna get him to safety and continue cruising. But first live snake of the night, nice big timber. Come on, go on. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, now he just wants to beef. Right, we're gonna get you down the hill. Ooh. Hey, don't do that, man. A rare, rare timber strike on camera. There he goes. There we go. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, it was a pretty solid day. Definitely the best day we have had this week. Uh, I think this might be the only day that actually ends up being a video this week because it's been a lot of very long days with very few snakes up until today. And today, it was a long day, but there was a lot of snakes involved throughout, which is always nice. I like the days where the snakes are kind of evenly distributed like today. It makes it feel like less of a grind. But I do think I'm going to wrap this one up here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and do stay tuned for more information about the 2025 uh, raffle or 2024 raffle which the grand prize of that will once again be a field outing in early 2025 with myself and Ben uh, likely in the habitat of the eastern indigo snake so stay tuned for that if you're interested in getting out in the field with Ben and myself and otherwise I will see you guys in the next one thanks but it's got water in it. A red belly snake. No way. Not the, did you flip it? Mm -hmm. Pretty sure that's what that is. Am I blind? Am I oh blind? my goodness, I dude. It's microscopic, that's why. All right, first snake of the day, Ian just flipped an absolutely microscopic Little red-bellied snake, look at that. Just being cold under 10. First thing in the morning.